welcome to my channel in this tutorial i'll be doing a simple floral design using gel polish foils and a marble technique here's just here's the products that i'll be using in this tutorial today all the links will be in the description box below where you can purchase all these. Hope you're all well. Weather's starting to pick up. It's nice and sunny here today. So first up, I'm going to be going in with Looking Glass from Nail Nails. I'm going to do two coats of this, popping it in for a cure for 30 seconds in between each layer. Okay, so now I'm going in with some foil gel, doing a nice thin even coat and then pop it in for a cure for 30 seconds. Once you've popped it into the lamp, while it's curing, get your foil ready because it's much better to apply to the nail when, as soon as you get it out the lamp so it's still warm carefully place it over your tip rubbing it i use my silicone tool and just keep rubbing until you're happy and then if you want to check it you just peel it off very very slowly and if you've missed bit <coughs> excuse me if you've missed bits then you can just pop, pop it back down and then carry on rubbing that little bit so I'll just let you watch like this a little bit. See this bit here, the top right hand corner wasn't quite attached, transferred, I mean. So I popped it back down and give it a little bit more of a rub. Peeled it off slowly again and then I go over this with a matte top coat and then pop that in for a cure. This foil's so pretty from Nail Sugar. I love it. I love it over that colour too. So next up, I'm just going in with two coats of white gel polish. Okay, so now I'm just going to get my little palette and get some gel polishes. I'm using three colours, the Premier Gel White, Nail Nails, Looking Glass and Bally Shoes. Yeah, Bally Shoes. Checking the brush in between just to make sure that the colour doesn't transfer to the other colour. Okay, so set that aside, I just get my little dotting tool and just do a squiggly line through the gel polish. I apply a thin layer of Nail Nails Bloomin' Gel. You don't need much of this at all. You don't want the nails to be too bulky. Then I get my ombre brush and just, you can't, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing here. Um, get my ombre brush and just scoop up a little bit and then slowly float the gel polish across the nail of how you want it.
And then once you're happy with your marble, just pop that in for a cure. Next, I've got some Premier Gel Glittery Gel Polish. I think it's called Unicorn, if I remember rightly. And I'm just adding little lines where I'd like the little glitter to show. Now I'm just going in with some matte top coat, nice thin layer, make sure you cover the whole nail, you don't want any shiny bits. Okay, so next up I'm just going to do two coats of this pink which is Bally Shoes. This is where I use the glitter pixels that are absolutely stunning. Here's the glitter pixels in Atomic. Now they don't they don't come in separate ones anymore. They are all in one pot. So they're now called Princess Pixels, which is still just as stunning. Honestly, you need these in your life. Now I'm just dabbing it into the tacky layer. Giving it a good rub. Just look how sparkly they are, absolutely gorgeous. And they go over so many colours. I'm just wiping off the excess here. Now I wanted to do this shiny, but because the rest of the set was matte, um, I went in with the matte top coat instead. But you'll see both while it's still wet you'll see how it looks shiny too make sure you float it over and then wipe the brush before putting it back into the bottle as you don't want to contaminate it to be honest so pretty and shiny on matte just look at that color shift absolutely stunning on the other two nails i just done two coats of pink and two coats of turquoise aqua colour and that's that set finished i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a like and a subscribe can't wait to see you in my next one bye now